the right thinks that the left uh, is in a very different place with free speech than they have been before, and they're not wrong. Let's have a look at what Bill Maher has to say when it comes to the subject of Elon Musk and how Democrats are mishandling the subject of free speech. Said this on his show, I figure. He's talking about how uh, Democrats like Mark Cuban and Joe Scarborough are showing their hand when it comes to the subject of free speech in the way that they are treating Musk. Let's have a look at it. You could be one of the world's greatest entrepreneurs literally of the last century and be a fucking troll at the same time. (laughs) Right. You know, know, uh, people were shocked when Henry Ford, who created the modern age, went to testify on Capitol Hill. And what what, what did historians say? Congressmen and senators were shocked how ignorant this guy was. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know Elon Musk. And an anti-Semite. And an an, an, an anti-Semite. But this is a guy who's who's one of the great minds Mm -hmm. of our time. Right. And I hate that he's in the sewer with, with, with you know, Twitter and, and doing all of this stuff. He, support whoever you want to support. But, but again, but you don't have to lie so, your ass off. There's so much single but, okay, information that's here, being but here's, spread. Here's where the rubber meets the road, because this is important. He wanted to this week. He's suing by he's suing uh, the 12 member commission, the California Coastal Commission. He launches his rockets from Vandenberg Space Force Base. We used to call it Air Force Base, but I guess now we're into Space Force time. Uh, <laughs> He wanted a, a, the, pr- the proposal to expand the number of launches. Okay, again, one of the most impressive companies, an American company. He wants a little more, give it to him. No. The commission, some bureaucrat, yep. said, nope, and this is the reason why. Commissioner Carol Hart saying, we're dealing with a company, the head of which has aggressively injected himself into the presidential race and made it clear what his point of view is. Yes, because he lives in America, yeah. and he can do that. Yeah. It has nothing to do with this. And, you know, the right thinks that the left uh, is in a very different place with free speech than they have been before, and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. This is arrogant. You don't punish somebody. It would be like if we stopped Henry Ford from making the cars right. because we didn't like what Yeah, but he... can you take one anecdotal example? One idiot, right? Truly an idiot to stop... This is not an idiot. This is someone with, with power. Wow, massive transformation taking place before our very eyes. What we are witnessing, I suppose, is the end of the centralized power era. That means we're either going to experience mass authoritarianism in the name of safety, convenience and aid and protection or mass decentralization of power. The signs have been there for a long while, whether it was Napster and the collapse of the record industry or the Arab Spring or the Occupy movement or Brexit or Trump. This needn't have the flavor of a particular political movement. It's led after all by technology in the same way that the emergence of the Bible required the proliferation of the technology to produce mass text indices and codices. Either we are going to enter a period of incredible liberty or we are going to be sunk into an era of mass centralized control. Which way will it go? Let me know in the comments and the chat what how you think this election will inform that outcome. Airports and planes are heavy EMF exposure zones due to the volume of people with individual devices and Wi-Fi within confined spaces. I think that sometimes, like all of them phones, everyone's staring at their devices. It's important to protect yourself if you're undertaking such travel from EMF. Imagine sitting on a commercial flight, every single person there smothered in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth earbuds, all that stuff. You might as well be in a fuselage made of electromagnetic energy. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention classifies airlines crew members as radiation workers precisely because of this fact. Airstech, as you know, probably are an official partner of the UFC. They're the only scientifically validated EMF protection solution. Hang that little thing around your neck. It sups up those sweet little problems. Airtech uses EMF modulation technology that is trusted and used around the world. Go to airstech.com forward slash pages forward slash Russell dash brand. Use code Russell 30 for 30% off. That's code Russell 30 for 30% off. Give yourself the advantages that these devices represent. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more uncensored content where free speech can flourish, join our live stream. Click the link right here to watch the next video if you want to, or become a member of a growing movement. Download the Rumble app and you'll be informed every time we make a new piece of content. Stay free.